Hey guys, Mari back here with a quick mod review of the Star Carrier Turtle, which is a port of the Tortagar from Atlas over to Ark. So we're going to quickly hop in into it over here. So the Star Carrier Turtle does come in two variants. We do got the normal one and then we do got the glowing one. And the one major difference basically between the glowing and the normal is the glowing here kind of gets this rainbow effect on vibrant colors. The back of its shell can also get it, I believe, but the color I have on it did not take. But then over here on the normal one, it's just a simple brown, and let's quickly close up its shell there. That is a feature that we can do, and I'll explain what it does here in a minute. But yeah, we got the normal one here, and it does come with a chibi. So we'll quickly take this off the stand here, put that over in our hand. We got the chibi. And the chibi is craftable, I believe, with three raptor claws, and I know it takes an artifact. Give me a second here, we can quickly pull it up. Okay. So the chibi takes two alpha raptor claws, one alpha tyrannosaurus tooth, and any generic artifact. And that goes for most of this mod author's uh, creatures as well. You can craft their a chibi version of them. A lot of them are ports over from Atlas, as you can see here. It's just a simple, small little chibi. It, it's not even like other chibis. It's an actual just scaled down version of that. It doesn't have a massive head or anything from what I can tell. But yeah, but back over here to the big dudes. So you're probably wondering what we do with these. Well, if we hop on its back real quick, you have to open its shell to ride. Alrighty. And once we're in here riding, it will throw us here on the right side of the creature. And if we quickly, uh, is that, no? Can't attack with the shell open. All right. So if we hit left trigger with the shell closed, we will attack. And if we hit right, we'll open the shell and we can move. But we cannot attack. So if we close up the shell there, as you can see, the mount or when you're mounted on this, you are completely concealed. I'm pretty sure that nothing can damage you in here. It does also got a little bit of a wonk on the sides there when it moves, but that's what you expect when you have a moving feature like that on a creature. It's almost like if I get this going fast enough, we might take off, you know? But the thing about the, the star carrier here is that it is a water mount that is land-based. So it's slow on land if we hit we hit shift here but once we hit the water it's sprint speed is not is, i'm not even sprinting right now it's sprint speed on lamb is the same as the walk speed in the water but if we start can i not sprint in the water it does not look like i can sprint in the water huh or am i already sprinting i can't tell if it's increasing in speed when i sprint or not but as you can see here, you can open up in the water, you can attack. And I'm pretty sure that little bubble icon down there in the on the right is to show that, uh, let me see, underwater breathing, yes. So when you're on this mount, it does give you oxygen. And I do believe we do have one other attack that we can do on this besides that. And that is if we hit C. Oh, if we hit C here, we can submerge, space we go up. And, but with control, what? I know there's supposed to be a tail attack. I'm trying to find it. I, we might actually have to be up on land for that. Alrighty guys, we made it back to land here and uh, I found out the button here for the tail swipe. So when you're on land, if you hit C, you will do a tail swipe. And the water, that's the button to go down, I believe. So that's the crouch button. So when you're in the water, you just submerge. You can't do a tail swipe. But on land here, if you hit C, again, you get that nice tail swipe. It does that. Oh, it has that nice little whoosh, whoosh snap sound there at the end. Here. But as you can see, though, when you do move, you do got a tendency there for the, what is it, the shell there, this part here that opens, the wings to kind of uh, buckle in. But again, this creature is so awesome. I mean, it's something that I can deal with easily. It's just a little clipping. Not, not, not like a little clipping is going to hurt anyone. Now that I say that, it has. But 
on to the taming portion of this video. Alrighty guys, I have found a wild one. Trust me, that took a lot longer than it was thought it would. Uh, I think I passed probably like two of these in the water as well. This was like the only one I could find on land. But, here we go. So the way that you want to tame this is by tranking it. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's got 300 torpor from one shot. 500. Still going up. Another boost. Is this thing trying to come and attack me? Is that what you're doing? Is is this thing like completely passive even while I'm attacking it? Oh, it even oh this awesome spyglass mod as well also tells me how much uh, kibble and food you're gonna need to feed this bitch. Okay, um, that's a little weird. I don't know why it wasn't attacking. It also doesn't seem to have an animation for passing out. So, alrighty. I'm going to let this dude starve up a bit here, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so where you let it starve up a bit here, do you mind? Really? I feel like every time I try to record a video, there's always a trike just in the way. Alrighty, but back to what's important. So we've let him starve up a bit here, as you can see. He's down to 6.5k food. So let's quickly just throw the regular kibble into him. Up, he's eating one, two, and there we are. Just takes three regular kibble. Um, and this is using my settings from my past video there. Uh, my best settings for Arc 2020. That's what I have going right now. So, with three regular kibble, you should be able to tame them up if you have it set to 10, which I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's set to 10. So, yeah, just takes three kibble and you have it tamed up. So, just simple. Trank it, knock it out, give it some biotoxin, keep it unconscious, or any other narcotic. I was using biotoxin. And again, it takes regular kibble, vegetables, or medjo berries. And that's it for the Star Carrier Turtle. Alrighty, guys. So you've seen how this creature works, all the moves it's got. You've even seen the chibi. But all that's left to do is the outro. So thank you guys for tuning in. As normal, newest video on the left, YouTube recommended right there on the right, but smack dead in the middle covering up my face probably right about now, the link straight to my channel, and uh, please le leave a like, subscribe, uh, and expect more later. This has been Moray signing off.